Welcome to this video. In the previous videos, we have designed the main screen and the second screen of Berry Finder game. Let us go ahead and do some coding. So now what we want here in this app screen too. So you can see there, there is a strawberry button. And what we want here is when we click on the strawberry button, it should move to different position on the screen. For that, you need to click here and check the personalized property. You can see here the left property and top property it is 374. So what we need to do is we need to change the left and top property to random integers so that it can move to any places, any random places in the screen. So let us first drag this block whenever strawberry button because we are going to do further strawberry button. So choose the strawberry button and then from the common category select set heading label select property. So in the heading label you need to select strawberry button where is the strawberry button this one and in the select property you need to select the left property so for top also you can duplicate this and select the top property and now we want random integers and left is horizontal so horizontal means the default value for horizontal is 790 and default value for vertical for top is 590 so maximum is that value for height and width horizontal means width and vertical means height okay so height is 590 and width is 790 okay so let us put some values to put the values we need to click on control category first and under that category click on input and drag this zero block and give some values like 400 duplicate it and drag it to top so now let's check <coughs> So you can see it moves only to a particular position but what we want is we want it to move to the random positions right whenever the user clicks so we can't click twice right so for that we will make some changes to the code input category you can see here random integer block so drag this block and first of all you need to put this 400 in the dustbin and this also to dustbin and now drag this block to the left side and hide app design okay so now put values from I'm putting the values like 40 to so 790 minus 40 is 750 okay so now duplicate the same block for the top property also and here value will be 550 590 minus 40 is 550 click on done now let's check so it's moving to the random position right and we are able to click again and again right yeah so now what we want next is so we want whenever the user clicks on the strawberry button score should, score should get increased right the user should able to see the scores right and if the user clicks in the background or anywhere uh, else then this strawberry button the life should get decreased and total lives is 3 okay 
so let us first do coding for score how can the user clicks the strawberry button and the score will increase by one okay so first of all in the control category we need a variable called score where we can put the values store the values remember in programming also variables are the concept variables are the memory location where you can store the values right so click on variable and now drag the first block first of all you need to create a variable so click on this drop down menu and click on create new variable so give the name of new variable as score and now select the score variable okay so like this you also create a new variable called lives to store the value of lives okay and click on lives so now we have created two values that is score and lives okay so one more thing click on this program menu program under the control category and drag when program starts to this that means whenever the program starts it will set the score value to 0 and set life value to 3 we want the life value to 3 okay because the life value is decreasing right and also we want to show the value of score and lives to the user so what we can do right now this zero we have inserted into the label right but suppose if we remove the zero and now we want the zero value to show that the user can see the value how we can do that click on label and show button this one instead of this hello we will put this hello in the dustbin and we will drag this to show block and we will select the score and heading label will be score label score value so drag it now you can see run the program see now you can see the zero value this zero value is getting visible because of these codes okay and we want life's value also to be visible so we can duplicate this select here as lives and here as lives label so what is the name of lives label lives value so always give the meaningful name for the app elements now you can see here when the program starts it's not when you will not execute the program it will not be visible okay so see here you can see the value as 3 so now what we want we want when the user clicks on the strawberry button the score should get increased by one so let's code for that so in the variable category drag this increment variable my var to the whenever block under the set block okay and here select the score variable okay it is incrementing score by one whenever the store strawberry button is getting clicked okay so now check let's check okay whether it's getting incremented or not it is happening but we can't see the value increased right so what we need to do we need to show the value to show the value what we need to do this block so duplicate it now let's check it's 
six. Score is getting one again. Two, three. Now the code for the score is done. Okay. We have to also do for the lives. So what? When the lives will get decreased when the user clicks on the background button, right? Background. So we need to code for the background button. Okay. So in the button category, select this, and here background button, and now decrement, right? So under the control category, under the variable, decrement this one. So drag this and put inside the background button. Select the variable as lives, and you have to show also, right? So duplicate this one and drag it to this. So now let us check. Okay. Okay, so I'm clicking here. It's taking me to app screen two, and also when the program start code will execute. Okay, because already you can see here the values are zero and the three. That means that code has been executed already. Now the code for the strawberry button will execute when we will click here. See, score is getting increased. Okay. Suppose I click here, then lives are getting decreased, right? Let's see. Okay. So we have total three lives, and in the next video we will discuss how to set a timer because we have to give some time so that a particular top scorer can be find find out, right? And also, if you click here, see the lives are getting minus one, minus two. We need to set that the lives are only three. You have only three lives. And when the time, uh, when the time's out, okay, when the time is over, the scoreboard will appear. So that designing part, along with the codes for the lives and the timer, we will do in the next video, okay. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you like the video. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. See you soon in the next video. Take care. Ta ta. Bye bye.